How is everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the St. Louis Cardinals. We're going to be finishing off the NL Central. And you guys have been asking for this team to be, you know, to be rebuilt for quite a while. So if you guys want to see more rebuilds, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And also in the comment section, let me know some teams you guys would like to see rebuilt in the future. You guys have been asking for it. Um, I really don't want to do the Cardinals because I'm a Cubs fan and they're like our biggest rivals in the Central. But you know what? You guys have been asking for it, so I got to bring you guys some content that you all want to see. Also, I'll be using the OSFM V4 roster that's in the roster vault. It's not an MLB The Show roster. It's a custom roster. So now you guys know it's not like an actual roster that's from MLB. So let's hop into this. Let's look at the squad, see what changes we can be made. Um, what, or see what changes we can make or what changes can be made. So let's let's look at the squad starting pitching wise Carlos Martinez He's he's not going anywhere. I think starting pitching wise. We're we're pretty set overall We look pretty good. The only one that could be possibly moved is miles um, But you know, he's 29. He's 83 overall. I definitely could see him sticking around first um, the entire rebuild we also have Alex Reyes and Jack Flaherty who are gonna be fighting out for that fifth spot in the rotation um, But overall, I think we're pretty set for starting pitchers unless one of them or two of them or somebody just doesn't perform well Relief pitching wise is probably where we're gonna need the most help. Um, I feel like that's just where it ends up being where most teams do need some help. We do have Brett Cecil, Luke Gregerson, Matt Bowman, Brebia, Leone, um, Lane, My Myers, My Myers, Myers, um, Shreve, Hicks, and then a couple other players. But there's no one really that stands out um, that I want to keep except for Bowman, Brebia, and Hicks. Those are the three I really want to build this bullpen around. Um, and then for closers, we do have Bud Norris. But overall, there really isn't too like there's only three pieces in that bullpen that I want to keep everybody else um, I'm okay with letting go catching wise It's it's Yachty no doubt about it like Yachty Yachty's staying with us and then we'll let Carson Kelly be the backup Yachty's staying as the catcher first baseman We're gonna let these two guys sit um, you know kind of fight out for that first baseman spot Matt Carpenter in real life is having an amazing season his stats aren't that amazing in this roster, but overall, I don't see him being a bad first baseman. Second baseman, we have Yairo Munoz, Edmundo Sosa, and Colton Wong. The thing about Colton Wong is he makes about $5 million a year, and um, he actually has a decent amount of trade value, so he might be someone that I look to move on from and then let Yairo Munoz and Edmundo Sosa take over in Season 2. Third baseman, Jed Jerko and Greg Garcia. Greg Garcia is not a bad little backup. Um, Jed Jerko, it all depends on how he performs with C potential and at the age of 29, probably 30 by the end of the season, he might start to decrease in value and also in rating. So it might be time to move on from Jed Jerko. Shortstop, Paul DeYoung. We don't, we don't need a shortstop. Paul DeYoung is perfectly, like he is a really good shortstop in franchise. He develops really quickly. He puts up really good numbers. He's a great shortstop to have. Marcelo Zuna, as long as he performs, I'm cool keeping him around. Um, he is going to cost a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. Randy Arizarena is a decent little prospect for outfield. Center field, as much as I do love Dexter Fowler, um, for this rebuild, he just doesn't really fit the plans. Um, 32 years old, 73 overall. Seat potential. It's, it's just time to move on from him. Plus, he makes a decent amount of money where we could put that somewhere else. Plus, we have Harrison Bader who in real life looks to be a really, really good center fielder. And I, I think it's time to let him um, play center field and kind of grow. T Tyler O'Neill is another one of those players that I'm going to let him grow. I might let him sit in the minors for a season just to develop a little bit more and find a new right fielder. So there are going to be a decent amount of trades this season. Um, looking at the, like the team, for now it's mostly Fowler that's going to be moving from the lineup and then from the rotation it's most likely bullpen pieces that are going to be moved so i'm looking for a um a new outfielder and then a couple bullpen pieces pieces so probably two or three trades and then we'll get the season started so let me make those trades and uh, i'll catch you guys in a bit first trade we're going to be making is for a bullpen arm kind of that long relief arm in danny salazar from the cleveland indians 28 years old so he still has a couple years left before he kind of um, hits that plateau in um, development 
um, righty. He's got good stamina, good hits and Ks per nine, um, good velocity, clutch, control, stuff like that. So for a bullpen arm, he looks to be really, really good. We are getting rid of a player I was looking to move on from in Dexter Fowler. Um, the piece that is giving the most trade value is Daniel Ponce de Leon. But I'm okay with letting him go because we do have Alex Reyes and Jack Flaherty whole, um, kind of fighting it out for that pitching spot. And we're, we're pretty set on starting pitchers. And then we're getting rid of John Nagowski, who I don't really see him helping us out in any way, shape, or form. So that's the first trade we're going to be making. Next trade we're going to be making is for Liam Hed Hendricks, also solidifying that bullpen. 29 years old, B potential, 85 overall. Looks to be just really well-rounded. We're getting rid of Delvin Perez, um, another prospect in Nolan Gorman, and then the aging Adam Wainwright, who, yeah, I know he's like kind of like a Cardinals legend, like he's just been around for years, but for $3 million a year, 36 years old, and he's not going to get any better, I'm cool with letting him go a couple prospects and then adding in a, a lot better of a bullpen arm that's going to help us for the future. So I think that might be it for trades right now um let's move a couple players down and i'll show you the lineup in a sec start season one this is how it is going to be carlos martinez miles uh michaelis Mikolas, um michael waka luke weaver and jack flaherty i'm really tempted to put alex reyes there um, but I think I'm gonna leave Flaherty there for now. In the bullpen, we got Salazar, Bowman, Brebbia, Leone, Norris, Gregerson, Hendricks, and Cecil. Um, I might put. Do I want to put Bud Norris there? I don't. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it like this. We're gonna see how it goes. Cecil is our only lefty, so maybe at the deadline we'll add another lefty to the bullpen. But for right now, this is how we're gonna line up. I think it's I think it's the best option for us. Maybe put Gregerson there, and um, I'll see you guys at um, where are we gonna be draft day. So that's how we're gonna line up. I feel like those trades are good for us now. It helps us out for this season and also going forward in the future. And um, yeah, we're gonna go to draft day, and I catch you guys once we get there. Alrighty, it is draft day, so let's hop into it. I think we have like the 19th pick. Yeah, the 19th pick. So let's see who we go with here. I'm gonna take a a wild shot on the very first pick going for someone we haven't scouted and Patrick Covington already pick number two I'm gonna go Rico Urban the issue with having such late picks in each round is every single player I've scouted is basically gone we're gonna take a shot here with Ray Luis um, just has a pretty good stats so we could definitely use him for a, a future prospect if he turns out to be high rated we're gonna go Andres Baez the left fielder um, this is like the first time I've gone to draft without picking anybody I've scouted and I'm I'm kind of freaking out about it. Uh, it's kind of difficult. I'm kind of worried this is going to be the worst draft I've ever had. We're going to try out Harold Livingston here. His really only bad stat that I see is K's and walks per nine. Um, so that's, that's our fourth round pick. I'm going to go a little bit down from the potential and we're going to go Danny Merritt here. His stats just look really well rounded and um, one of the players I actually have scouted um, so we're gonna go with him alrighty I'm just gonna take Aaron Miner there aren't that many good picks left so that was our last pick anyways whoa this might be the best like potential draft pick like for potential that I've ever had for a draft and I was freaking out about it first overall the first round pick we have is Patrick Covington 57 overall and he's um, got 87 potential so that's really good um, it's only B potential, but still really good. Rico Urban, 61 overall, 20 years old, got um, 89 potential. That's awesome to see. Next one, Ray Luis, 87 potential. He's 59 overall. So none of these players are really going to be able to help us right now. But for the future, we got some nice players. Andres Baez, he's a 59 overall left fielder, 18 years old, B potential. He gets up to an 81, hopefully. Next up, we had Harold Livingston. 57 overall he's got good break velocity and stamina already um 57 88 potential um danny Merritt, 72 potential or no 72 overall and 85 potential see he's one of the ones that are closer to being ready but some of his stats look really really nice and then our last pick is probably our worst one in aaron minor only 71 potential so i'm not going to sign him up but everybody else 
really really good pickups for this draft and i'm really liking the way these players look for the future Alrighty, so in the central we're eight and a half games behind in the dead or at the deadline day and we're only half game out for the wild card so not horrible what was what were we 55 and 51 i mean not horrible we should be doing better so let's see where our issues are carlos martinez hmm i don't like to see that miles is having a pretty decent year i like to see that though so maybe he'll be our new ace michael waka is he's developing but he's having kind of a rough year luke weaver um has a high era and so does alex reyes but they're both all these pitchers are young so they should be developing um as the seasons go on which is good to see they actually are developing danny salazar has been on and off hurt but you can see that um not a horrible year at all matt bowman is going up as well he's got a 0.97 era which is good to see john brebbia is up or ooh, his his potential has gone down hmm that's a little little not that's not good to see but he's a 77 high era jordan hicks he's up to a 71 he's got a pretty decent era um bud norris is just not doing good at all brett cecil um having a pretty good year actually a really good year actually so that's a good thing to see liam Hendricks, um you know not the best and luke gregerson not the you know he's going up but four or five era i don't know about that i really don't know about that so um closer may be somewhere we need to look for at the at the deadline colton wong's hitting 235 as a leadoff header i would want i would want something a lot better jose martinez is got C potential as going up but overall is going down he's hitting 311 though so that's not bad paul de Jong's up to an 81 like i said he's just a phenomenal pickup for a franchise he's hitting he's, he's just having a really good year jed jerko um he's kind of staying the same but you know he's hitting good so i'm going to keep him in the lineup matt carpenter not a bad year either 264 marcelo zuna um some stats going up some going down but he's hitting 319 so that's that's good to see Yachty, 258, not a bad season. Harrison Bader is up to a 73. You see, he's going up, um, hitting 241 on the year. And Tyler O'Neill, he's been hurt for about half the season. He fractured his arm, so he's hitting 264 on the year. Carson Kelly is hitting 267. The free agent, Victor Victor Mesa, is hitting 220. Um, and I picked him up because um, Tyler O'Neill got hurt, so I decided to bring him in. And then Greg Garcia is you know having not a bad year so lineup wise i think we're okay um colton wong is a piece that i might move and then we need a closer so that's so a closer and then probably a new infielder so let's see what i can do at the deadline already the trade we're making at the deadline is for that closer and that is edwin diaz looks like he's having a phenomenal year and we're gonna bring him to st louis for luke gregerson who He's 33, so he shouldn't really be developing too much more, and I don't really see him being a, a long-term solution to our setup or closer role. Colton Wong, a player I was looking to move anyways, plus we have Yairo Munoz and Edmundo Sosa, and then Randy Arena will be leaving, um, 23 years old, B potential. We still have Victor Victor Mesa, and then we also have Justin Williams, who's almost a 70 overall, so we have two prospects that are... I, I rate them a little bit better than Eras Arena. So we're getting we're getting that closer we need. And um, that was definitely a trade we needed to make. So now we need a second baseman. Let's see what I can do. All right, the next trade we're making is um, Andrew Neiser. Neiser? Kneiser? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. And then Bud Norris as well as Edmundo Sosa. His potential's actually gone down, even though he's gone up in rating for Lourdes Uriel Jr., who um, just develops really well. So I want to bring him in and he'll be our new uh, short or not shortstop second baseman. And um, yeah, I think that's those are the trades we're going to be making for the deadline. We have that new closer in Edwin Diaz. Um, I think the bullpen is going to be just fine the way it is. Um, we'll let we'll let them kind of handle everything. We got Salazar there. I think I think we're doing a lot better bullpen and rotation wise lineup wise. Um, I got to bring up Uriel. So once I have him into the lineup, 
we'll be set to go all all that's going to change is he's going to go into second base and um he'll play that position other than that i, I think we're good for the year i mean we're a half game out of a, a wild card spot and um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I think we can get it and push in the playoffs in season one. Season one, we made it as a wild card team, 86 and 76, and we're playing the Diamondbacks. Um, so let's see how the season finished awards wise. Gold glove for Yachty. I mean, that's that's kind of expected. Unfortunately, Jack Flaherty in the minors tore uh, his shoulder. So that might hurt his development a little bit. As you can see, we got second in the central. We missed it by just a game. Oh man, just a game. I wish, I kind of wish we, uh, we would have just won at least two more games, but you can see how the, the pitching has been. Carlos Martinez, 12 and 12 with a pretty high ERA, also high walks. Um, so I'll give him an, like another half a season. And if he doesn't perform well, it might be time for him to go. Miles actually had a really good year. You know, like that that's a good, those are good numbers to see. Michael Walker is developing. Um, a 3.55 ERA is not bad at all. Um, hits and stuff, runs, not bad at all. Alex Ray is 76. High ERA, but you know, he's still a young pitcher. He's still developing. And then you can see Luke Weaver's actually overtake, or it was always higher than him, but he still has a pretty high ERA and he's developing as well. So overall, Starting rotation, I knew there was going to be some bumps um, because they're pretty young. And um, let's look at the bullpen. Danny Salazar, 88 overall. High ERA, but, you know, not not too bad. Brett Cecil, really good year. Pretty, really good um, ERA. Liam Hendricks has gone down in rating, um, which is disappointing to see. Um, his contract's really hurting him right now. Um, so maybe we can get him a new contract and see if that boosts his um, rating. Jordan Hicks is up to a 73. Good ERA and just looks really good. Matt Bowman, 83 overall. Really good ERA. Brebbia's. It might be time to move on for Brebbia. I used to really like picking him up in franchise, but he's just not doing too well. And then Edwin Diaz lights out this year. I'm glad we picked him up. So in... The lineup, you can see 297 for Ozuna. He's starting to decrease, which I don't understand why. He had a pretty good year. Um, let's see if there's something. His contract's a little disappointing, but okay. Jose Martinez, not a bad year at all. Um, Paul DeYoung, 83 overall, 29 homers, 264 average. Not the best, but not bad. Jed Jerko, his potential's actually gone up to a B which is good to see had a pretty solid year matt carpenter's up to an 81 he had a pretty solid year as well lourdes uriel is a 78 and we picked him up when he was a 73 so he's gone up five ratings in the second half of the season and he looks to be a decent little pickup for us yadi's down to an 86 but that's okay um, I'm kind of assuming he would start to decrease in rating since he is 35, but I'm okay with that. Harrison Bader's up to a 76. He hit 251 on the year, so that's good to see he's developing. And Tyler O'Neill hit 232 on the year. But like I said, he was injured for about a quarter of the season. Carson Kelly's a 70, so if Yachty continues to decrease, we do have him as a backup. And um, in his limited appearances, he didn't do too poor, poorly. Victor Victor Mesa's up to a 67. And he's only 21 years old, so there's a lot of room for him to grow. And Greg Garcia is up to a 68. Let's look at some of the um, prospects. Like I said, Jack Flaherty did get hurt. Um, he's a 73. Dakota Hudson, 68, which isn't bad. No one in the bullpen. Um, and then Yairo Munoz is up to a 73. I might bring him up next season. And then who else? There was one more. Um, Justin Williams, 68 overall at the age of 22. That's great to see that we do have some backup in the outfield starting to develop. So for this postseason game, you can see the bracket here. We are playing the Diamondbacks. Let's let's uh, let's sim it and see how it goes. Alrighty, quick managing this one. When I said sim it, I meant quick managing. We're gonna let Carlos Martinez take the mound. The lineups there, theirs is on the left. Um, in the four spot, they have Lamb. In the five spot, David Peralta. And in the sixth spot, Steven Souza or Souza Jr. So let's get into it. Let's see if Carlos Mart. Not a good start. Single, though. Okay. We even it right back up with a, a double. Okay. Then Paul DeYoung makes it three to one. 
four to one Uriel delivers and um, Carlos Martinez man you gotta you gotta just you, you gotta keep them keep them grounded we can't we can't let them get um, any more runs back we do get another run added five to two ball game six to two ball game and I'm feeling I'm feeling good now all right as long as they didn't score I was feeling good we're gonna let Martinez go into the fifth um, unfortunately nothing happened there so Patrick Corbin's done mm. fielder's choice can we get out of this one two run score he does all right six to four ball game okay this is actually they got out I was trying to figure out what happened um we're gonna let yeah we're gonna let Salazar come in and he gets us out of that um Salazar I really want Salazar to pitch another inning so I'm gonna let him hit and um unfortunately no mm-hmm mm-hmm Hendricks come in all right it's a one run ball game now Jerko Uriel is a monster that is his second home run of the game Hendricks gets us the one two three eighth we get a double oh Hendricks got a double whoops I didn't mean to do that we're gonna pinch run who's got some speed Victor Victor Mesa does come on let's get let's get one more insurance run here Paul DeYoung adds a three run shot and um, that should all but do it. We're going to let um, Brebia do it. Hopefully close it out. He does. So DeYoung two home runs. Uriel two home runs. What? Those that that's awesome. Let me that was unreal. Let me the box score for that like okay so five ribbies for de Jong, three for uriel like that is insane Ooh, that was that was a good that was a good game so we're taking on the dodgers this should be a really good series let me show you the dodger lineup real quick kershaw alex wood kenta maeda walker bueller ross stripling and then their lineup is Chris Taylor, Yasiel Puig, Justin Turner, Bellinger, Machado, Kemp, Dozier, Grandal. It's it's going to be a tough game um, or a tough series. So let's see how it goes. First game, 3-2 to two victory. There we go. Not the best of second games. 2-1. to one. We just need this win. And it is the elimination game. Carlos Martinez versus Kershaw. Let's quick. Let's um. Let's get into the quick manage screen. Alrighty, we're going into this elimination game. Martinez, I need you to pitch really well. Let's get the bat started going though. That's what I'm talking about. A double. We're up one to nothing early. There we go. I'll take that. I will take that for sure. We're up one to nothing to start the game. Okay weren't as effective the second inning but that's okay pitching well um knock on wood or don't want to jinx it just yet martinez two out single nothing comes of it walk two walks you walked in a run okay it's only two to one though it's only two to one you gotta stop letting kershaw get on come on what are you doing here you know what Mm. what's our bullpen our bull i think our bullpen's kind of tired Ugh. it's okay we're gonna we're gonna let him go one more there we go we got out of it all right ozuna lead off single a double play though that is a killer jerko uriel come on can you deliver some magic can't and Bader single okay Bader single hit and run okay hit and run grounds out Martinez is tired so we're gonna bring in Hendricks a leadoff double there we go we get the one we get out of that O'Neal pops out pinch hit we're facing a righty Matt Carpenter's time to shine mm, walks okay no eighth inning 
We'll let Brebia come in. <sighs> come on, De Jong. Against Kenley Jansen, our last three outs. Strike out, fly out. Man. Alrighty. Game five of the series. Let's go, Carlos Martinez. Ozuna started us off, though. Mm. We do get a two out single. A little rally here. Two runs by Uriel. Uriel is a postseason monster. Bader makes it 4 0 in the first. There we go. Mmm. I don't like this. We do get out of that, but we did allow two runs there. Okay. O'Neill, Martinez, Ozuna. Sack bunt. Error. Come on, guys. We do get out of it, though, with the double play. That's clutch. Jerko and Uriel strikes out. Come on. Single, a fly out. Okay. Bader. Come on. A double. Okay, Bader. A single brings him home. And we got a three-run lead again. There we go. We get out of the inning. We do get out of the inning. Jose Martinez grounds out. Paul DeYoung grounds out. Quick little inning for us. Stolen base with one out. We get two outs. And then we get out of the inning. Here we go, Uriel. A double to start it off. Bader grounds out. Molina grounds out. O'Neal walks. Perfect, because we're facing a lefty who hits lefties well. I don't think anybody does. We'll let Garcia come in. Two outs. He flies out, but that's okay. Pitching change. What do we got? A couple righties. We'll let, we'll let Hendricks come in. Gets the double play. A single. And then a line out. There we go. Ozuna doubles to lead it off. A walk. A single base is loaded. Fielder's choice. Uriel is a monster, a grand slam, 92. That is what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about though, but that's okay. We're up nine to three. Um, O'Neal grounds out. We're gonna pinch it here. We're gonna let Victor Victor Mesa come in. He gets on, steal second, he does. He's in scoring position now. Just couldn't take advantage of it. Eighth inning, let's let Brebia come in. Double, okay, come on Brebia, get us out of it, that's okay. De Jong, singles, Jerko, double play. Uriel, can you keep the magic going? You can't, but that's okay. Closing time, Edwin Diaz. I'm not going to take any chances. We are advancing to take on the National... <laughs> We're taking... We won the National League Division Series to take on the Nationals in the National League Champion Series. Oh my gosh. Uriel is a monster. Holy cow. He is an absolute beast let's take on the nationals already game one miles versus strasburg mm, not the best start waka gonzalez Ooh, that's there we're back on track there we go a two one series lead two to two three to two okay game seven. Oh my gosh another elimination game let's do it dude scherzer's got crazy eyes what is going on with those quick manage this one um, yeah, I guess Waka, uh, walk, uh, that's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, wait, why is Jose Martinez in right? Hold on. We need, we need Tyler O'Neill in right. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a little bit better with this lineup now. Ozuna start us off right. Mm. Okay. A little two out rally maybe. Unfortunately, no. Stolen base. Come on. Okay, well, there we go. Single. Yeah, we go. Uriel. Okay, come on. Little little rally here. Bases loaded. Oh, with Waka. Can you get the sack fly? Strikes out. Ozuna. Fielder's choice. Guys, we got to take advantage of that. Okay, only one run scored. I'm okay with that. Can we get it back? We can't. Mm. Okay, okay. It's still a one run game. A little two out rally here. No, man, we're going to let Waka go. He's feeling good. A little, come on. Mm. Yeah, there we go. We're still, we're still only one run down here. We just, we got to come on seventh inning. We got to do it here. All right. We're strapped for runs. All right. Martinez. What do we 
got righty. We'll let Salazar come in. We're going to pitching change, bring in Cecil, face the lefties, and we get out of it. Two more innings. We need a run, guys. We need something. Last three outs, and they bring in Kelvin Herrera. Walk, okay. Do we do we pinch run? I feel like we should. We're gonna bring in Victor Victor Mesa. Can he steal second? He's oh, oh we would have had like first and third or something. Bader, please be clutch. Mmm, facing a righty. Come on, Garcia, two outs. <gasps> Garcia! Greg Garcia pinch hit! Three run bomb! And then Ozuna! Edwin Diaz, close it out for us. We're going on to take the Astros or the Yankees on in the World Series. Greg Garcia, pinch hit. Three run bomb with, oh my gosh, that's insane. We're taking on the Yankees, let's do this. Already game one, Weaver, Sonny Gray, mm, not the best start. Reyes, oh two. Okay, we get one back, we get two back. If we win this, it's the World Series. We gotta quick manage it. Holy cow. Game seven. Let's look at this. This Yankees lineup. Man. Sevi, Gray, Tanaka, um, J A Hap, J, J Hap, J A Hap, whatever you want to call it. And I think that's Matt Harvey. We're gonna go with Weaver. They have Tommy Pham, Drury, Judge, Stanton, um, Sanchez, Gregorius, Neil Walker, Glaber Torres, and Aaron Hicks. Man. I'm feeling good though. I feel like we've We've pushed through some tough aces already. We can do it again. Man. Okay. A walk, but we do get out of the inning. Can we get a can we get our base runner? No. Mm. Sanchez. <sighs> okay, we get our first base runner. Two outs. Just can't do anything with it though. We've been limited. We've been limited. But you know what? Weaver's Weaver's doing pretty good. There we go. Can we get him going? Come on, come on, O'Neal. Four to nothing. Come on. We're gonna let the CPU handle it. Six to nothing. And it comes down to a game seven. Alrighty, Alex Reyes has had a pretty rough postseason, but I'm putting faith in him. Let's see how he does. Ground out, strike. Bats didn't get started off right. But that's okay. So let's Matt Carpenter. There we go. And then we, we we take an early lead, so we just we just gotta hold it now. That's all we need. Okay, so runner scores, but then he gets thrown out at home. So that's okay. Can we do? We just come on, Reyes. Oh, he was thrown out at home. Okay, Jerko Carpenter. Okay, okay, Uriel Molina. Okay, a little two-out rally here. Unfortunately, no. Okay, one three, one two three inning. That's what we need. Ozuna. Okay, okay, I like this. First two runners on, and we can't do anything with it. Carpenter, can you deliver again? He does. A, there we go. Second homer of the day. And we're up two to one. Three to one now, thanks to Bader. That's what I'm talking about, guys. And a double play to end the inning. Ozuna, Martinez, and then De Young. Okay, two out rally? No. I'm going to take out and bring in Cecil. Single, all right. Um, Hendricks gets it out, gets that out. All right, Carpenter, can you do it again? Unfortunately, he doesn't. And then, um, can't do anything there. I'm gonna let Hendricks go. There we go. O'Neill, Ozuna. Okay, it's the ninth inning, guys. Edwin Diaz goes one, two. I didn't want to enter for this first season that is a World Series for the Cardinals. Def like, wow. Holy cow, guys. That was awesome. Let's see who the postseason 
and um, World Series MVP was postseason or like the playoffs was Harrison Bader and then the World Series MVP it had to be Carpenter five homers in the World Series what that's insane pitching rotation wise Martinez really proved his worth in the postseason Miles had a pretty good postseason Waka had a good season as postseason actually everybody did um, Salazar got hit pretty hard but other than that every and Bowman a little bit Brebbia too even Edwin jeez guys but overall I think this team's setting up pretty nicely Uriel is an absolute monster um, for the future Bader performed really well so uh, I think I think we're set for the future like really set for the future and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what pieces we can add to make this team really good for the budget um, we do have a couple expensive pieces um, Yachty is a big one Marcelo Zuna Cecil Carpen Carpenter De Jong, Uriel so I mean we probably won't be able to sign anybody big but I definitely think we can add a couple you know um, pieces here and there that are like just that that we need we don't really need a big name we just need someone that's really just gonna set us up to that next level so let's hop into the postseason after winning that World Series and uh, like just see if we can get you know go back to back already I gave everyone arbitration so hopefully we save some money there looking at the contracts Brebbia how much does he want he doesn't want that much actually so you know what I'm okay I'm okay with that maybe even use him as a trade piece in the um in the bullpen so I think uh I think that'll that'll work for us Weaver I, that's that's a it's a good deal for us there too maybe even bring it down a little bit more Bader is definitely coming back for sure um bring it down a little bit more um, actually, I could probably even bring it down even more because he, he's for sure starting for us. Like he is just an absolute monster. Um, O'Neal, again, another piece that I will definitely be bringing back. I'm not too sure he'll be every day, but he'll, he'll still definitely be a help. Martinez is a tricky one. I'm going to see. I'm not too sure about him. Yairo Munoz and I think the rest are going to be like players that I need to like oh Hicks definitely will be brought back um, and then as well as Flaherty so those are the big ones and then the rest are just kind of players that are pieces here and there so um, those are the ones I wanted to show you I'll do the rest off camera and then we'll get into free agency in the post and the um, offseason all right the one trade we're probably only gonna make at the de uh, at the start of season two is for chad green his stats look amazing he had a really good year last year and it, uh, it just makes our bullpen even stronger we're getting rid of alex mejia um john brebbia like i wanted to um just because he just he didn't really seem to really click last like just last year and just didn't seem to work and then we're getting rid of Dakota Hudson as well so that's the one trade I think I want to make the most this year looking at how we're you know like I mean our bullpen looks really good now I'm gonna move down Leon to triple a just because we don't we don't need them and just because our team looks amazing now it just looks so good and I think I think we're good with where we're at. Like, look, us, everyone's up in the 80s for the rotation. Like, Jack Flaherty's up here for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think I want him here. So I think I'm gonna send him down for another season. Unfortunately, I know he, he's kind of wasted down there, but um, he just he just doesn't fit there. And like, just look at our bullpen. It's so much stronger. The lineup's looking good. I signed Wilmer Defoe from free agency um, as kind of like a backup. And then everybody else is developing nicely. Uriel's up to a 76. Mesa is a 70. You can see these two are up to 74s. And I, we're just looking really, really good. Um, one thing I noticed that just came out of nowhere. Who is this? Where is this guy from? Um, Because... I don't know um I it may have been the CPU signing players to fill up the roster 
because our triple a roster was like a couple players short so maybe he was in free agency he doesn't have like any stats or anything so i think he's just a free agency pickup he's 26 b potential 70 overall so like i said guys always check your free agency because unless he was someone i drafted but i don't remember drafting a 26 year old um but other than that there's not too many changes yairo's about ready to come up to the bigs not not yet though and um I, the lineup's looking good i'm feeling really good with where we're at we won it last year with this team i think we could definitely do it again plus everyone's starting to go up in rating here and there so i think we're only stronger and um i'm really excited to see what this team could do for season two already at the deadline day you can see we are three games behind the cubs and in the wild card we hold the second spot so so far so good on the disabled list we do have danny salazar there who is actually having a pretty decent year so it kind of sucks that we lost him there draft picks wise a couple decent ones but we'll sign up those two decent ones um angelo fuentes and robert hernandez not too bad um but other than that pretty poor by the cpu which was which usually happens looking at the pitching rotation carlos martinez okay year so far miles is having an okay year as well is carlos martinez going up though he is and miles is going down okay luke weaver not good wins and losses but um era is looking good so that's good to see michael waka is having an okay year not too bad actually and then alex reyes is up to an 83 which is great to see and he's having a really good year um we're probably gonna need to bring in another long reliever we have cecil here hicks is doing good chad green looks like he's doing good in his time there um bowman hendrix meh. and edwin diaz is lights out so far any blown saves he's got 35 saves already this year and one blown save okay looking at the lineup jerko is having a decent year 263 average he is starting to decrease though greg garcia is playing second base instead of uriel why oh it's just for one lineup okay uriel's an 80 okay okay de jong's an 85 what carpenter's an 83 ozuna's an 84 he's starting to decrease o'neill's an 76 that's great to see um, average is not that great though. Uh, Molina's an 81. He's decreasing. Bader's a 76. And then um, on the bench we got Carson Kelly, uh, Wilmer De Defoe, Mesa, and Garcia. So we're, we still got some good uh, pieces on the bench, but a couple players are decreasing, which isn't good to see. So hopefully those can turn around in the second half of the season. Um, with Salazar out, we do kind of need a bullpen arm, and I think I have an, an easy solution to that. Jack Flaherty. Just stick Jack Flaherty there. I think that's going to be our solution for, for it. Um, Jerko is going down in rating, so maybe move him on. Other than that, maybe get a new third baseman. I think that's the move. Maybe a new third baseman and then um we're good so let's see if i can do anything all right so the trade we're gonna be making is for christian villanueva of the padres a potential 81 overall he seems to be having a good year we're getting rid of connor scott um jed jerko and then recently drafted rico urban but he was the only piece that would allow for the trade to be go through so this trade actually i think would work for us we're adding you know a bat that is giving us some power and that's what Jerko had so I feel like it's a power for power switch let me add him to the lineup I'm feeling good about our the way our team is is is, is set up now I think I think we're set um, and um, I don't want Christian Villanueva leading off obviously I'll have Ozuna lead off um, that kind of worked out for us last year and then I think that's it I really do I think we're good um, Jack Flaherty is gonna fill this long relief role the bullpen's been looking pretty solid and um, the lineup looks good too um, I think we're good I really do um, maybe we do have one spot left open I'm gonna bring up Yairo Munoz I think he's ready um, do we have an out we do have Mesa Mesa as our backup outfielder so yeah I'm gonna bring up Yairo Munoz 
to the majors see if he starts getting some big league reps it'll develop him even more so that's it those that's the move at the deadline day let's see if we make the playoffs again and win another world series as you can see we were a wild card team we're playing the rockies and um you can see the playoff picture there um we still finished two games out of the cubs man and we finished uh, a pretty good amount behind the rockies but we just this close away from winning the central martinez 10 and 11 so wins and losses again pretty similar but his era drastically improved hit or walks and strikeouts about the same um he did pitch about 10 more innings but overall um earned runs and runs went down a lot though um which is good to see miles decent year um again era about the same walks went down which is good to see runs went up earned runs went up a little bit but not too much luke weaver 87 okay um let's look at luke weaver he i mean a losing record but a three era is amazing under 50 walks with 200 k's in 170 innings holy cow what's his case per nine 90 okay that makes sense but runs went down drastically i'm surprised he didn't win more games alex reyes had a good year as well 37 era walks and walks a little high but overall good numbers runs went down waka same thing a good year his runs went uh, we're actually about the same and we already talked about miles flaherty in the long relief role not bad um he only did pitch 32 innings but still not a bad season at all salazar um was hurt but when he did pitch was pretty lights out cecil is going down a little bit but he had a good year three era is not bad jordan hicks four era but that's okay I mean, still not a bad year. Chad Green is decreasing a little bit, but 100 strikeouts and 93 innings, that's pretty good for a reliever. Bowman, a good a good year. I mean, he had a good year. Hendricks had a good year as well. And then Edwin Diaz, 51 saves, didn't... He, he blew three... Who had the league leader in saves? Pedro Strope and Kenley Jansen just beat them out. Okay. All right, Ozuna's decreasing still, which isn't good. Greg Garcia hit 316 as kind of like our DH bench bat. Um, he had a pretty good year. DeYoung's up to an 86, which is amazing to see. Matt Carpenter now is starting to decrease, but still a pretty similar year to last year. Christian Villanueva, good. I mean, better average, better on base percentage from last year, and is basically replacing jerko and doing the exact same thing 78 overall for o'neill now he hit 25 homers what um average was about the same on base a little bit lower but hey i'll take it yachty's down to a 79 Ooh, and bader's up to a 78 he looks amazing as well his average isn't amazing but he hit 24 homers and lordis uriel is up to an 81 so our young guys are really developing carson kelly's up to a 72 Wilmer Defoe hit 300 in his plate appearances this year, and Yairo Munoz is um, not not the best, but um, he's up to a 76. So let's quickly look at some of our prospects that we have. We traded away our pitching prospect. Um, we don't have any relieving prospects. Danny Merritt, 78. What? I know we drafted him, but he's up to a 78 already. Okay, okay, I like to see that. Um, Ray Luis is a 62, uh, 61. Um, okay, that's not bad. Um, let's see here. Who else? Andres Baez is a 64. Patrick Covington is a 60. Victor Victor Mesa, I dropped him down. Um, he just wasn't hitting that well. And um, Yairo Munoz can play kind of all over the field. He's a 71. This Garcia guy is a 73. He looks pretty decent. Um, Justin Williams is up to a 70 now. And then um, Connor Capel or Connor Capel is a 62. So, like I said, for the future, we're set up, but I'm worried about the postseason. And I feel like with what we have, I don't see why we can't go back to back in World Series. Alrighty, game or elimination game versus the Rockies. Let's uh let's get through this real quickly. Okay, hit by pitch, a single, strikeout, fielder's choice, three Christian Villanueva, three run bomb. 
Okay, weird inning, but we only allowed one run. I'll, I'll take it. For for the trouble we got into to start the inning, um, I'll take it. We are only up one now, though. So that's not the best. Okay, Uriel, double. We can't take advantage of the double. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, come on, O'Neal. Hmm, Bader strikes out. Martinez singles. Ozuna singles. There we go, tie ball game. That's all we need. Martinez, one more inning. That's all we need. There we go. Villanueva grounds out. O'Neal strikes out. And then we get a walk. Can we get a little two-out rally here? We can't. One, two, three inning. All right, pinch hit. Perfect. All right, we're coming up against a righty. Who hits righties really well? I think it's going to be Garcia. Actually, yeah, it's going to be Garcia. Garcia's coming in. Grounds out. Okay, walk. Double play. Yikes. Okay, um, we got a... They got Joey Gallo? What? <sighs> Come on, guys. Down one. Single. Okay, okay. Villanueva strikes out. Hit by pitch. Two out rally, please. Yadi Molina strikes. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We're facing a righty. We're going to let Wilmer Defoe hit. Okay, eighth inning. This is crunch time. Hendricks is going to come in. Okay, Diaz is going to come in and close it out, hopefully. Mm, not what I want. Definitely Paul DeYoung, you absolute god, gets us out of it. There we go. We're taking on the Dodgers again. Woo. Woo. Okay, let's do this. Already, let's look at the Dodgers lineup real quick. See if they made any changes. Um, the starting rotation. Who's their third pitcher? Let's see if I can see who their third pitcher is. Walker Bueller's an 88. Jesus. All right, so Kershaw, Urias, Bueller, Alex Wood, Ross Stripling on their lineup. Andrew Tolles, Justin Turner, Corey Seager, Bellinger, Puig, um, Chris Taylor, Max Muncy, Austin Barnes. We we got we got to win this series. All righty, for the Dodgers, let's see how this goes. Kershaw, Weaver, not the best start. Good God. Okay, elimination game. Let's do it. All right, let's look at the lineups here. We're going to go with Martinez. They have Kershaw, Urias, Bueller, Wood, and Stripling. And then they have Tolls, Turner, Seager, Bellinger, Puig, Taylor, Muncy, and Barnes. This is our lineup. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we got this. Ozuna, not the best start. We, we did face Kershaw last year, and we won. So we definitely should be able to do it again. O'Neal, you absolute animal two run bomb we're up two to nothing here we go come on okay first first runner oh, it's two to two game come on an error to the pitcher and it comes back to hurt us all right come on o'neill deliver again okay not the best start gets out of it okay unfortunately we're gonna take him out he hits lefties pretty well so we're gonna bring in munoz single okay another single hit by pitch come on Villanueva pops out mm. all right we're facing a string of lefties come on Cecil there we go one two three O'Neal Yadi Uriel mm. double play there we go we're gonna pinch hit we're still facing the lefty so we're gonna let Wilmer Wilmer Defo, Defoe however you want to say his name go at it we go one two three man um we're in the eighth we're in the crunch time we're gonna let bowman pitch okay okay we're coming up against some lefties i don't know man we get out of it all right deong come on singles there we go carpenter fly out Villanueva strikes out o'neill error yadi yadi you yes clutch Uriel grounds out so we all know it's Edwin time we're taking on the Nationals again it's a repeat of last year let's just hop right into it already game one oh let's see who the um the Nationals have in their squad so Scherzer Strasburg 
an 84 pitcher. I don't know who that is. And they have Pomeranz and Tanner Roark. And then looking at their lineup, Trey Turner, Rendon, Murphy, Justin Bohr in center. I don't know. He's a 77. Catcher, I think that's Yasmani Grandal. Then they have Max Kepler and Juan Soto. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's get into this. Weaver, not a good start. Not the best of starts. Okay. 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 Game seven. We're doing this. Game seven. Let's go. I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna get through it. You guys can see his the Nationals lineup in the bottom. Okay, we went two innings, nothing. Three innings, can we get something? Okay, we get a single. The pitcher, there we go, Reyes. Oh, and he comes around to score. There we go. And then they go and score. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, a little two-out rally here. Unfortunately, no. And it's, God. Two to one now. Come on, come on, DeYoung. There we go, DeYoung. Two to two. Okay. O'Neal moves him over. Yachty, can you be clutch? Mm, now we're down three to two. Come on, let's take. Fortunately, I got to take you out, bud. Um, we're gonna let Garcia take over. Man. All right, we gotta switch. All right, I know they face lefties all worse. All right, he gets us out of it, but we are down two in the eighth. Okay, that's a good start. That's not. Okay, that is a little bit better. Bases loaded, please. <sighs> he gets thrown out at home. Yachty strikes out. Okay, but like top of the nine, we need to score. Oh no! Already Reyes versus Tanner Roark. Okay. Osuna. Okay, we start off with, we get a one out single. Okay. Come on. Villanueva. Mmm. Yes. That's what I'm five to nothing? That's what I'm talking about. Mmm. Okay, five to three. Yikes. What is this game? Like what? What is this game? Five to four. Good leadoff double. Grounds out. Okay. Sack fly. Flies out. What? You couldn't bring him home? All right. Bader. Um. What's, I wish I could see his stamina right now. It's probably not good. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Pinch hit homer. I'll take it. I'll definitely take that. Um, it's all up to the bullpen now. Uh, we're going to let Salazar come in. Do some work here. There we go. Double play gets us out of it. And we still got a two run lead here. Yachty. Pops out Bader. Okay. They do get a run back though. That's not good. Ozuna. Okay, come on. Uriel. De Jong. No. Give me one more inning, Salazar. There we go. We still have that one run lead. Can we get something? Villanueva. O'Neal. Okay. Yachty. Oh, he's thrown out at home. All right. Bowman. Cecil. Lefty versus lefty. Gets us out of the inning. We're going to pinch hit um, Defoe because he's a switch hitter. Error. Okay. Okay. Do we have a quicker 74 speed? What does Defoe have? Speed. I need to know Defoe's speed. Oh, 83. It's on this. Duh. It's on the thing. All right. Strikes out. Single first and third. Fielder's choice, but we do score it. Two run ball game. Base loaded. Four run ball game. Five. Okay. And I'm not even going to take any chances. We're bringing in Diaz and closes it out we're taking on the yankees again it is like carbon copy to last year holy cow all right we get it we get a full break i'm gonna line up pitchers um this i can't believe it's like an exact copy to 
how it was last year. So, let's get into it. Let's look at the Yankees lineup and see how it goes. Um, Sevy Anderson, um, Jordan Montgomery, I think that is. It's a Montgomery, and then they got Tanaka and Aaron Sanchez, and then you got Pollock, Drury, Judge, Stanton, Sanchez, Torres, Didi, and Walker with Austin Meadows. Okay, pretty solid team. Let's see how it goes. All right, game one, Martinez, Sevy. Okay, get the win. That's what I like to see. Game two, we take the loss. Game three, take the win. Game four, game five, game six, it's going to game seven. Oh my gosh. Let's quick manage it let's do this game seven whoo we we need to score early like that is gonna be our saving grace is scoring early Villanueva leadoff double couldn't move him over there couldn't do it again oh, leadoff double we can't take advantage of it it's disappointing okay it's a little single okay first and third sack fly we get the run in that's good okay early run now let's just hold it there we go another double by Villanueva Looks like he got hurt. So we got Munoz there. Pop out. Ground out. Comes home from Bader. There we go. Get us out of it. There we go. Two to nothing still. Little two out rally. No. Okay. Alrighty. Six. Five innings so far. We're doing good. Little walk. Strikeout. Okay. Weaver. Mm, you're done. <laughs> you're done, bud. We're going to bring in Chad Green to face his former team. Gets us out of it. Osuna. Nope. Garcia. De Jong. Nothing. Alrighty. Bring in Cecil to face the lefty. Okay. Okay. Switch hitter. It's about the same, but he hits better kind of against righties. Sack fly. It's a tie game. Ugh. And we're facing a string of righties. We're going to bring in Bowman. Gets us out of it. Come on, Yachty. Start us off. There we go. Bader. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Two-run ball game. Heading into the ninth. And it's all up to Edwin Diaz. Two outs. Enter the game. It's that time. All righty. Didi's up. <clears throat> Jeez. Didi's up. We're going to start him off with the slider. He goes. Ooh. Okay. Got him tangled up there. See if the high fastball <clears throat> gets them. Oh, two, count. Oh my gosh. Can we win it back to back World Series? He's going to ground it. There we go. St. Louis Cardinals back to back World Series. Champs. This team is amazing. Like, this team is really, really good. Holy cow. I mean, we're winning can't be stopped i mean it's taken a lot of game sevens and a lot of elimination games but that's back-to-back -back world series for us and um who would have thought i mean i thought this team would at least at least need need like this season to win world series i didn't think we were going to win it in the first but this team is really good and i'm liking the team that we've set up so i'm going to simulate straight to season three and we're just going to leave the team how it is and see how we do and see if we can win us a, a third World Series. Alrighty, the playoff MVP was Matt Carpenter and the World Series MVP, Greg Garcia. Okay, okay. For the year or for the playoffs, Alex Reyes got hit pretty hard. Waka, pretty good. Um, Miles, pretty good as well. Everybody besides Reyes did pretty solid um, overall. Oh, these two had a little bit of a rough time. And Diaz was pretty lights out. Um, the lineup, besides who was that? O'Neill and Bader. Everyone hit pretty solid. And Wilmer Defoe. But like I said, this team back to back World Series champs. Let's see how we look in season three and uh, just sim right through because I feel like this team might be it, might be a three peat like we did with the Cubs. So, um, We'll see about this. Alrighty, season three, we only made a couple changes. Um, actually, we only made one. Ozuna wanted too much money, and because he was decreasing in um, overall, I didn't want to bring him back. So instead, we brought in Nicholas Castellanos, and that's that's it. Um, we brought back Matt Carpenter and everybody else. So the lineup's the same. This is how we're looking pitching-wise. Um, I think we're looking good here now. Like. Everything else is the exact same. Um, I'm, I'm feeling good. 
I feel like I'm just going to sim straight through for the rest of the season and see how we do. Alrighty, as you can see, we made it as a postseason, or no, we made the postseason as a wild card team taking on the Padres. So let's see, you can see the playoff picture. Let's see how we uh, we finished. League leaders, Matt Carpenter had the most hits. Okay, okay. Um, standings wise, 10 games behind the Brewers. And then we had the second spot um, in the wild card. Let's see. Okay. Carlos Martinez. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Michael Waka is up to a 91. What? 276 ERA? That is crazy. And then his his runs and earned runs went down 10. Um, Miles had a an even better year from the year before, which is great to see. Alex Reyes is an 87. Wins and losses aren't there, but still, like, just doing really good. Um, as well as Luke Weaver. His ERA went up a little bit, but overall, Danny Salazar had a really good year. Glad we brought him back. Um, Matt Bowman, he's an 81. He had, you know, a better year than last year um, in terms of ERA. Brett Cecil, still pretty consistent. Jordan Hicks is hovering that 80 mark still just can't get that era down liam hendricks is starting to decrease in rating but that's okay he still had a pretty good year and chad green had an unreal year with the 1.64 era edwin diaz says he's going down but he's he's still killing it like he's still an absolute animal yairo munoz he was hurt for about half the season um but his hitting stats just it's just not going too well for him. Matt Carpenter still hovering that 83 mark. He had a better year than last year. Holy cow. Okay, Paul DeYoung, he's still just cranking out homers and doing well. Christian Villanueva, he's, you know, averages down a little bit, but still pretty good numbers. Tyler O'Neill's an 84, 37 homers. Nick Castellanos is an 84. He looked like he had a bounce back year from the year before. Harrison Bader's an 80. He had a left, not as good. He had a pretty rough year compared to last year. Yadi Molina's down to a 76. He had a better year than last year in terms of on base percentage and stuff. And then Lourdes Uriel had a better year than last year as well. On the bench, Carson Kelly's up to a 75. Okay. Wilmer Defoe hit 389. Okay. Victor Victor Mesa is up to a 72. Not that good hitting wise. And then Greg Garcia is a 74. Let's look at our um, just kind of the the rest of the players that we haven't used. Jack Flaherty didn't pitch at all this year, unfortunately. We just couldn't find a spot for him. Um, Danny Merritt, that closer that we drafted in the first season, is up to an 80. Holy cow. Um, who else? Ray Luis is up to a 65. Um, who else did we draft? Andres Baez is a 67. All right, okay. Um, Patrick Covington is a 64, and then we have Angelo Fuentes, is which was drafted last season, and then we have Adalis Garcia. Jose Adalis Garcia is a 76. He looks pretty good. Justin Williams is a 72. Okay, so we have some pretty good farm um, system players. I mean, that's that was a pretty good run for us three straight years let's see how we do um with this post season game i know the padres have bryce harper which is pretty crazy to think about so carlos oh no we'll let waka go because he does he looks a little bit better but they have pitching wise they have shane bieber denilson lamette um i think that's rodone Luke Casey, and then I don't know who their last pitcher is, but you can see our lineup. They have Peraza, Asuaje, Harper, Hosmer, Myers, Jerko, French Cordero, and Francisco Mejia. So, I mean, the team's looking pretty good. So, let's see how we do in this one game elimination game. So, overall, mm, not the best start. Two to nothing. Okay, Bader. Okay. Oh, just couldn't. The pitcher had to come up, didn't he? So we're still down two to nothing here. Can be in the way we'll get us started. Two to one game. Okay. We get a double with Bader. Can't do anything with it though. Double for them from Jerko. Mm, I don't like that. And then we go one, two, three. So we're still down one. I'm feeling I'm feeling a little late comeback. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, Castellanos, Bader, Molina. 
All right, we got pinch hit here. Coming up against a righty. Who hits righties really, really well? It's either Defoe or Garcia. We'll let Garcia go. Hmm. Just... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Switch hitter. Who's... We're going to go with... Go with green. Gets thrown out at home, though. Okay. We... Okay, okay. Uriel. Carpenter. De Jong. De Jong ties it up. Villanueva's a monster. Holy cow. Chad Green. No. Chad Green, come on. Last chance. And that is it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. I really liked it. I mean, this team is set up really good. I mean, we need a new catcher. Yachty's starting to decrease. Probably going to start to need a new first baseman since Carpenter is going to start to decrease. But Jairo Munoz is there. De Jong is here. Um, he's young. Christian Villanueva is still pretty young. He's an 86. Tyler O'Neill's developing still. Castellanos now. Um, Bader. Uriel. Um, you got Victor Victor Mesa. You got um, Adalis Garcia. Justin Williams. Victor Victor Mesa, like I said. You got Baez and Covington. So outfield stacked. Um, and then pitching your set. The only thing you could probably just use Danny Merritt, Merritt as a trade piece to get, you know, maybe another bullpen arm. I mean, this team looks really, really good. I really, really liked making this team. Um, I thought the starting pitching is like one of the best for building a, a team. They have some of the best young starters in terms of potential. You have Martinez, Waka, Miles is still pretty good. Alex Reyes, Luke Weaver. I mean, they're good. We added Salazar, who really held this spot down. And then we added um, Chad Green, which held it down. Hendricks, Edwin Diaz was killer. So, I mean, this team is amazing. This team really... Um, competes with the three-time World Series champions that I made with the Chicago Cubs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And uh, let me know some other teams you guys would like to see rebuilt in the future. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.